if you're a business interested in locating to in a free port, who should you actually be speaking to or who should you be speaking to first? Yeah, well, one of the things that's underway right now is is the you know bid, bids were formed uh, and, and submitted effectively by shadow bodies, if we call them that. So, so cluster of, clusters of organisations who came together with a similar objective. Um, those groups are now being formed into official official bodies, if you like. And, and so certainly by the time we get to the end of this calendar year, I would expect that each of the free ports have formed a free port board. Um, and that free port board would then uh, appoint a permanent management team. And that will be the vehicle that will control um, uh, each of the individual free ports. Now, of course, within that site, and again, if you go back to the map that Jonathan showed at, at the start, there are multiple different sites within a free port. That means you have multiple different landlords. So in addition to the fact that you will have the main free port body who will be controlling that, that regional free port, you still have the opportunity to go to multiple individual landlords who who may have, you know, so if you're looking to invest in a processing plant, warehouse or whatever, um, that bilateral conversation with the landlord will still be there and one would imagine those landlords are actively promoting the free port benefits of their sites. Mm -hmm.